This story can have an effect on a lot of different types of people. Uh, we see Anon, the main character of the show, who is alone in the world, constantly trying to find his home, and because he's split up from his mother at the very beginning of the show. And he goes through all these events, these different situations that happen to him, but he's just so alone in this world, and it's this constant, constant battle to try to find where he belongs, where home is, whatever you define home as. Um, and I, you know, on a personal level, even in everyone's level, it's what we're searching for. We're searching, we're going on a journey in life to, you know, try to get to, get to the place where we need to go. Richard likes to stress the fact that these actors are the storytellers for the show and their personalities and their emotions heavily affect what kind of lights are going to be on them. So we'll be setting up the, 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 the sweatshop scene and the beach scene and things like that, but we'll also have these other scenes where emotions really affect the, the mood of the lighting. My favorite scene for lighting, oh, I would have to say uh, the scene where they're in the butcher shop and Mr. Zyklo, he's the butcher. He actually attacks Anand really just a crazy light distortion of reality. When we set up the scene for the butcher shop, it's like where it's actually taking place in the butcher shop, but when we distort the reality, we're gonna be taking these lights that will make everything look almost unreal. Like to a place you've never seen before. So say you're in the middle of a butcher shop and you're gonna have just a slice of red light piercing through the middle of the wall that you'll see. Or, you know, very, very weird type of looking lighting effects like that. For the ocean scene, we'll probably be incorporating a, a color palette somewhere along these lines. Uh, definitely a calming, soothing type atmosphere. But when we distort that reality, what I was talking about with uh, Mr. Zyklo and the Butcher Shop, we had kind of thought about picturing something like this, where like I said, it's a complete just break of reality of what we've established. I like to believe that this play is about that search for home. And in one particular scene, uh, what we want to do when we like the scene, we want to provide a sense of warmth. And the scene that you'll, you'll find is Anon, his first encounter with a family that uh, is very well established in this restaurant, a very loving family that's very close with each other. So there is hope, there is a home somewhere, even if it's not his, it is a home and he will get there eventually.